Oh there, grumpy old fart here. Um, I do a lot of uh, UFO videos, and the reason being is uh, last year the Navy announced that some uh, video and photographic footage that was obtained from aircraft off the carrier Nimitz of UFOs was indeed genuine. So aircraft off the carrier Nimitz got actual videos and photos of real UFOs. So the Navy announced they're real. So now we have to go back and look at some of the older UFO stories with a little, little more uh, credibility, with an eye towards credibility. They're not, it's not all bullshit. A lot of people believe over the years, most UFO stories have been met with skepticism and maybe a little bit of disdain. Witnesses have been deemed as crazy or weirdos or whatever. I know, because I've, I've seen the looks. <laughs> okay. Some people may be surprised to learn that some of these witnesses have held some of the highest offices in the land, including the Oval Office. Yes, presidents of the United States have had interactions with these UFOs. They've seen them. Uh, Harry S. Truman was angered by UFO flybys in 1952. Uh, it may very well be, I've heard rumors, I can't prove it, but I've heard rumors that they made him so mad that he ordered them shot down. Aircraft were set up to shoot them down. Um, <clears throat> there are rumors all throughout the UFO community, the ufology community, about a secret treaty with aliens. With uh, I want to say it was Truman. Might have been Eisenhower, but I'm pretty sure it was Truman. Um, John F. Kennedy was afraid that a UFO over Russia could trigger nuclear war, meaning if the Russians picked up a UFO, they might think it's something we launched at them, and they're like, holy crap, they're launching nukes at us, get them, you know, and they shoot back, kind of thing. So, and, and, and what, if something appeared over your airspace in, during the Cold War, and you knew somebody was aiming missiles at you, what would you think? You see what I'm saying? He's, he may very well have been right. And a lot of people think one of the reasons that John F. Kennedy was assassinated was because he was going to out all of the uh, UFO information, the full disclosure thing. I don't know. Um, Jackie Gleason, a famous actor, great, 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 uh, Ralph Cramden. <laughs> Remember him? Uh, to the moon, Alice, that guy. He also he was also in uh, Smokey and the Bandit. He played Sheriff Buford T. Justice, great, great comedic actor. He recounted an incident wherein Richard Nixon allegedly showed him frozen alien bodies. Yeah, Jackie Gleason snuck him into a facility, and or uh, yeah, uh, Richard Nixon snuck Jackie Gleason into a facility, uh, incognito as it were, <clears throat> got him in there and showed him where they had frozen alien bodies. And uh, he he said it was some some seriousness. Um, other people have he, he told other people the same stories and they said that he was very believable he, he believed it it wasn't a joke he wasn't making a, a he wasn't making a funny anecdote he was telling a serious story so uh, Jimmy Carter president of the United States Jimmy Carter claimed to have witnessed a UFO himself so you know when, when you look at the the level of of seriousness of some of these witnesses you have to you have to again look at it with some credit some credibility because these people literally held the highest office in the land they held the nuclear button they their fingers were literally on the button so if we can't if we you know if if, if you think they're crazy for seeing ufos what the hell were they doing with their finger on the button you know what i'm saying it adds a whole new dimension to that. At any rate, do, do your own research and look into some of this stuff because it's a very fascinating subject. If you get a chance, check it out. Leave some comments. I'll be glad to hear them. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.